One of the ideas of our school in, in our mission is to have our students leave our building having a sense of confidence in who they are as people and as children of God. In our world today, I, I believe that our students can be leaders in the area of peace. In our world today, I believe our students can not only lead in the area of peace of, of decision making, but show people how to deal with conflict in the world today. Uh, I am uh, Byron Thiessen and I am the pr principal at Meadow Simons Christian School. And this is my uh, third year of being here and I absolutely love it. My name is Karen Braun. I'm the vice principal at Menno Simons and also the learning support teacher, which is like a resource teacher. We are relatively small. We have 137 families. We have 205 kids. We have the opportunity to make sure that we have students connect with students. Menno Simons is community, and I, I don't know that there's another way of looking at Menno Simons. And if you take away community from uh, Menno Simons, it would be a totally different place. When you uh, would walk in the hallways of our building, you would see older students mingling with younger students, older students taking care of younger students, very unique in schools. And I believe that's very intentional on our part to, to, to teach community. Community means supporting one another. Uh, Mennonite Simons Christian School was formed by a number of individuals that wanted a Mennonite school in Calgary and Alberta. From different approaches, we can teach children that Christianity is not about a denomination, but it's about a personal relationship with Christ. And now what does that mean for that individual? To walk with Christ individually and then as a group, because life is community as well. We are very purposeful in our planning. Uh, not just for the short term and for in bringing out uh, the programs that we're asked to teach, which is Alberta curriculum. That, that we do. We do a very good job of that. But in our vision, it always says we're thinking of the future for the student. And uh, whether that be when our graduates move into grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, or beyond, everything is thinking of the future. And education for life, it just really means what it says in that you want to educate students in every part of their being. Of course the academics are important, but the social part, the spiritual part, the physical part are all part of that education for life and we want to prepare them for when they leave the doors of Mental Simons. Well, I believe education is um, its a life calling. As educators, we always look at the whole of a child. Now, when you look at the whole of a child, you look at the components that makes a student who he or she is. Uh, being holistic in approach as an educator, I look for the spiritual component. Um, I look for the, uh, the physical side. I look for the mental side. Uh, I look for the social side. All of those components make up the, the whole child. It's because we want to enhance the gifts of the student. All students are gifted. All of them are. We want to make sure that what we're doing at Snack Shack, at our hot lunch, supports really healthy living. And so the health nurse has been part of setting our menus and looking at what we're selling in the school. We also do a lot of teaching within the health program so that the kids get that well-rounded education, not just as part of their home life. Well, we believe in the idea that there should be no cuts. That if a student wants to come out to play a sport, uh, they have an opportunity to play. It's critical that uh, we give every opportunity for a student in this school, whether that be in the area of athletics or in the area of arts. Arts programs are vitally important, and there's so many reasons for that. One is the brain research that shows that students who do well in things like music or art or exposed to them do better in the academics. And people forget that when they're cutting arts programs, but that's we really treasure that part of it. One of the ideas of our school in, in our mission is to have our students leave our building having a sense of confidence in who they are as people and as children of God. And so we have to create environments for them where they have opportunities to lead, opportunities to make sure that they make a difference in our community and then make a difference where they may leave the building and leave our school. I believe that our parents are choosing to have their children in our building because their kids are appreciated here. 
that our, our kids are respected and cared for here. Communication is critical. When parents walk in our building, they need to feel that they are respected and cared for and appreciated just as their children are.